rude fall. Rude fall, your name is capitalized. I'm sorry. I don't know. I just some I don't know. I pressed the shift key and I was like, Rootful doesn't capitalize this R, but it was like, it doesn't matter. I cannot be contained. I just, I do what I want. Whenever I want. I ruin everything. Just willfully. Alright. Uh, <laughs> so this ship is, you know. I don't know. What's really that bad about this ship? when it comes down to it. Everything? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I was gonna, like, say something positive about the ship layout, but then I looked at the ship layout. Oh my god. We get two guns at the start, and one of them does deal damage, so... I guess we sort of take that and, uh, and run with it. I should camel case rootful. It's only one word though. That's not that's not how camel case works. The waggle puss is gonna smash the flagship. I wanna see that. I wanna see that happen right now. I feel weird. I feel like these glasses give me too much power. Also, I feel sort of like my peripheral vision's wrong. Like I can't focus out enough. Oh, maybe my vision's always sucked this much and I just wasn't aware of how much it was sucking. Probably, yeah. Anyway, my vision is different today, so it's going to take me a, a little bit of time to probably adjust to that. That's my excuse for when we lose. Well, no, I'm going to blame the ship, but also, also my vision. Also, my glasses might get very irritating to wear, like, under the headphones. I don't know. We'll see. It's a new thing. It's a new thing. Last time I wore glasses was, like, probably more than five years ago. So, yeah. It might be weird. Let's just go ahead and deploy this system repair drone. Maybe two. We're just gonna, you know... Call it negativity if you want, but we're going to assume that maybe we get hit by incoming fire in this fight. Hey, my shields are gone. Hmm. I think the play there was actually to heavy eye on the weapons like as quickly as possible. Does the heavy ion get in again? No, even if you go as fast as possible, the heavy ion cannot actually hit twice before shields recharge, it looks like. The heavy laser does. Or not? <laughs> well, okay, never mind. Imagine playing PUBG with these glasses. I would kill all those hackers easily. Yes, I would. Space the rest of the ship and get a weapons buffer. But a weapons buffer, like, costs a lot. I already have three weapons power. It costs me 35 scrap. That's a lot. I mean, it does seem like I lose. I'm not going to disagree with the part where I lose if I don't get a weapons buffer. I just question the part where it's implied that I win if I do get a weapons buffer. That sounds weird. Sounds weird to me. Let's intervene and defend this outpost. Uh, this fight shouldn't be as bad. It's a lot harder for this enemy to deal damage to us. They really love hitting our shields, though. Like, they're really into that. ship seems pretty bad. Okay. I'm 
Rootful is actually right. What is happening today? The problem with spacing the ship is that borders will come to my pilot, though. Isn't that, like, sort of bad? Maybe it's okay. You have 30 runs on the NGB. Wow. This ship sucks. Jeez, tasers. So much negativity. Where did that come from? Yeah, this, this ship fucking is terrible. I agree. Uh, <laughs> very, very bad ship. All right. Shields buffer. There you go. Shields buffer. Grab an engine point because it's super cheap. Now watch the oxygen and drone bay get hit simultaneously. Mm. Hey. Wait a second. Can we like flush him to shields somehow? Stop attacking my ship. Thank you. Whoa, 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 um, Well, I didn't charge my med bay. All right. That didn't go super well. Didn't go super well. So spacing the entire ship killed me within two jumps. Just as reference of whether or not that might be a good idea or not. Cool. So we have the theoretical idea of, like, why spacing the ship could be good. Because, like, theoretically, if borders came, it would be slightly advantageous. If fires are set, it would be good. And we have the, the case of where it might be bad. Because if your guy gets mind control and then you move him to the wrong room, you instantly lose. Hmm. Oh, you don't space the med bay, I see. Close the doors before a jump and open them after. Hmm. You think it's possible to clip the whole run? No! No, it took way too long for us to fail to kill the first ships. SG-2110. I just played a flagship with that. I don't... I always start with the Stealth C. Stealth B? Alright, sure. Alright, sure. I have some ideas for how we're going to win with the Stealth B. We're going to call this guy Ion... We're going to need the best. We're going to need all, all the best. Einstein, Poincaré, uh, and uh, Dr. Disrespect. The Stealth B. The Stealth B's issue is that it's terrible. Other than that, it's really good, though. start with a glaive beam we have cloaking and i think what we're gonna do is actually try to take empty jumps instead of jumps with ships in them i think these jumps give us enough hopefully for us to level cloaking again at which point we get to a point where we can cloak and then glaive beam before enemy ships attack us with weapons so I'll follow eric hey xk cd f <laughs> Thanks very much for the sub. Agumon will show to you as well. Much appreciate that support. I'm going to get a like sub goal for the day going. I thought that could be fun. Let's do that. We go sub goal. And I'm going to write sub goal six. One out of six. Six seemed like the right number. Is that prominent enough? Do I need to make it more prominent? I think it's probably okay. Now I can feel the uh, joys of victory or sadness of defeat in terms of how much people value me, which is what I've always wanted as a person. 
So we have the both feel validation and rejection. The sector seems bad. Like the layout's just not great. It looks like we're not going to avoid a uh, ship with our jumps. The market's here, which is uh, not a very useful place for it to be. Hmm. Okay, that's probably run over, yeah. Just gonna cloak right now. We need to delay how quickly they can kill us as much as possible. <laughs> And our weapons, unfortunately. I'm gonna get this repaired. No, we can just cloak now, I guess. Alright, we should be out. Okay. What? That's it? I, wow. It's quick. We get another jump into combat. So we probably have to go with the glade beam repaired. That's done. All right. Could prevent fires. I don't really understand why people get so excited about having no oxygen. I like oxygen. I find it typically valuable. Um, speaking of which, we have 24% right now. Okay, these guys would like to surrender. Let me go ahead and say no to that. Uh, anytime that you find a fight that you can win with the Stealth B, I feel like that's a thing to be treasured. Not something to give away lightly. Also, I could have just targeted their shields and probably one-shot them. So that's the thing to keep in mind. Hey, Sazavi! Do you need glasses or other protective gear to endure the stealth B? Nah, this ship's great. I'm sure we're going to be fine. What's a weapons bow? Oh my god. All right. <laughs> First time in a while that we get to just chill out. Let the oxygen all come back. Um, I think we're going up to level 3 cloaking. I believe so. Seven jumps. Do a little circuit of this nebula. It starts with glaive and cloaking. How bad could it be? Hold my beer. Let me show you. Combat drone. And this is trying to run. And that's not at our weapons. Not at our weapons. I think that might have been. I couldn't tell for sure, honestly. With these stealth ships being able to tell what a drone is aiming at and responding with cloaking only when it's vital is a really big deal. Something that I have gotten somewhat okay at. Sub goal, you sell out. Um, I don't know. I think it's just a little fun.
Everybody seems to be doing it these days. I think that a daily sub goal is better than like a total sub goal though. I'll probably forget that it's even there and not um, end up not updating it. Sector with ion storms. Aren't there like only two events that can happen there? Is one of them... You need piloting? Ion storm. These are the random events that occur in a plasma storm in a nebula. Borders. You receive a medium amount of scrap and resources in an attack. Okay. That's fine. We might fight an auto ship. But there isn't a ship there. Incapacitated ships. This one requires piloting. Incapacitated ships requires piloting, okay. Rebel ship wouldn't be that. Rock armored transport wouldn't be that. Slug fight wouldn't be that. Two pirate ships wouldn't be that. So I think if I get piloting, it's just a free jump twice. Hey, two sec, how you doing? Just wait until the third and fourth of each month when all the early adopters get their resub day. Um, yeah, there's a good chunk of people. We all sub right then, but we've been getting like steady subs every day, especially when I'm streaming for 12 hours. All right, I'm going to buy level two piloting because I believe it guarantees good stuff out of each of these events for me. Piloting. Have your pilot carefully explore the debris. Hey, welcome aboard, Jose. I'm going to go ahead and just... And him on doors. Yeah, doors. We should have been on doors coming into this. Because one of the events is borders. Okay, you can get a rebel scout. So we actually can't power our weapons. <laughs> I'm going to use our cloaking to escape. Cool kid subs are worth more. Um, all of you are worth more. Whoa there. So you have to get pretty lucky to win this, I guess. They like hard counter our ship or something. This does not seem like what we needed to have happen. Yeah. Well, that's it then. Close one. All right. Rough luck, I guess. The stealth B, everybody. You feel like this new look requires you to send in a resume in order to watch the stream. Do I look too nerdy, too professional? Let me know.